Hi and welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, we have the classic bigwig. We have the old one and we have the new one. Well, I'm a little bit late to the party, being that this came out in 2017, but I'm trying to catch up as fast as I can. So it's fantastic to get this car in. Now, I guess all of you probably know a lot about this car, but just in case you don't know much about this one, I went through and I put a few notes together for you. So this, the original Tamiya Bigwig was released on Wednesday the 31st of July 1986 and was available until 1991. Kit number was 58057 and was the only buggy to use this unique chassis design. Even with a unique chassis, uh, it still shared a large amount of parts with other cars like the Hotshot and the Boomerang that we've got up there. T Tamiya asked the Japanese designer Takuya Yura if, San, if I get that right, to design the distinctive body that we all know uh, today. And it's supposed to be from an aerodynamic point of view because he used to design racing cars. Mr. Takura owned a company called Mooncraft. And as you can see, the rear wing of the 2017 version, the Dick CPEC has been changed to Mooncraft Co Limited. Along with a unique looking body and chassis, the Bigwig also had was the only RC car by Tamiya to have a rack and pinion steering design. The chassis design turned out to be a heavy one and the unique steering design had a wide turning angle, but its 8.4 volt battery and top of the line motor for its time was out to impress. In 2017, Tamiya re-released the big wig for the 30th anniversary. 2017. Bit late to be released, <laughs> but hey, there we go. And that was under kit 47330 and was a close replica to its uh, early predecessor with some decal changes uh, as well as a motor change. The iconic Technigold RX 540VZ was replaced by a big wig branded GT tuned 25 turn motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox it and then we'll do a montage and we'll go through every single bit of it. But let's just have a quick look for now. You just look at that box art. It's absolutely stunning. Obviously, they've gone in and they've changed a bit purely because of licensing agreements and things like that. Now, presentation is a little bit different. Now, I, when I was younger, I always thought that this was a hard body, but it's not. It's a standard polycarbonate shell, even though it's kind of semi cut out for you. It's got sections already stamped out as well as the uh, uprights. Um, but there's also extra parts that go on the back side underneath like the arches at the back. And that's what's in this pack here. Now, I've been planning to restore this one, and I don't even think I've done a uh, introduction to the big wig on the channel. So I've had this one for quite a while, and it's in pretty good condition. It just needs a bit of fettling, and I've got a new body, and I've got original decals all waiting to go, but I just haven't got round to doing it. I put new tires on it. Um, the old ones were rotten, but the stickers are kind of lifting a little bit. Now, I'm kind of umming and ahhing about whether to have the driver pro painted, they're quite expensive, but this driver stands out quite a lot and I think it would be an amazing thing. So I probably will go down that road, especially as the driver is separate and you can just send off the driver to be painted. So instead of sending the whole body over, uh, away. So that's pretty cool. So you've got your, it doesn't look anything like it. It's surprising how much obviously with the over uh, bars and things like that, that you all bolt on and the way it clips in and locks down, it's all quite unique. Now, when I was a kid, I wasn't really sold on it, to be quite honest with you. And when I picked this one up, I still was a bit on the fence. But over time, I've got used to it and I actually quite like it now. So there we go. But I've got loads of spare parts for this. So we have the unique chassis that was only ever put on this car, which was kind of a strange one. Very wide because the battery sat completely inside the car, uh, especially when it was running the 8.4, which is the longer batteries. And they even put in the engine, which was pretty cool. So you can actually see you've got the air take and then the top of the engine. So it's all to add to a, a bit of the realism of the car. Gearbox, it basically shared with the boomerang and the uh, hot shot. The classic tires that we see on a few buggies, nothing special there. The uh, moon uh, Mooncraft uh, wheels are quite unique. A lot of people like them, a lot of people hate them. So, uh, what do you think? Are you a fan of the big wig or not? Put a comment below. It'd be nice to know because it's a bit of a Marmite car. 
from, from that point of view. The iconic yellow. I've got all these parts to spare for this one. And then we have the blue, which we share. Obviously, it's got the uh, dual shocks at the front. So you can actually take a lot of these parts and put them on your boomerang if you want. Uh, what else have we got here? Front arms. Bumper. The bumper that I've got on this car is not actually the standard one. Uh, then this is the uh, top part to, to give the chassis a little bit more rigidity so that you lock that down at the top. So it did have a lower and upper deck. There we go, the driver shed. I think that driver, basically you got that in the um, Fox as well. And I'm not sure if it was in another car. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. Shocks as normal. There we go, our decals. Obviously, you know, trying to get a hold of original decals if you wanted to make it look more original are around, but they're super expensive, about 40, 50 pound a go. And uh, I'm interested to see the motor. Uh, oh, let's have a look. So what have we got in here? Here we go, so screws, gears, B-bag, steering servo, there we go. Big wig GT tuned motor. That's very nice. And it's, uh, you can actually open this one up and service it. First we've got springs. Bag C. And we got our arms, nothing special about those. And the last one in the box is bag A, which is your metal gears and it's got some bearings so you've got two pinion gears in there and you've got your set of bearings as well so that's kind of nice so you've got a decent motor bearings as well so pretty decent kit really and then you have your dual aerials even though obviously if you're going to run modern you don't really need this kind of stuff but it just looks cool and obviously if you roll over it will save the body a little bit so yeah, there we go. And then there's a manual as well. So right, let's cu cut to a montage so you can have a good look at all the parts individually and then we'll be right back. enjoyed that and keep an eye out because I will be doing a full restoration of the original big wig on the channel as soon as I can <laughs> anyway thanks very much please like and subscribe if you'd like some RC kick stickers head over to the Facebook RC kicks group where there's 16 1700 people chatting and at the top of the page it will tell you how to purchase those if you'd like to support the channel so I can carry on making content for you then I have a patreon account I'll put a link down here or if you'd like to make a one-off uh, support donation to the channel then I'll put another link here Anyway, thanks very much. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.